Most of the images that I have of myself are from some sort of work event. The problem is, in them I'm either wearing a name tag or some sort of badge that distracts from the image. And the other problem people have with this sort of thing is if you have a company logo, and if you want to use the image in print or publication, you need to remove that. So I want to show you a really quick and easy way to remove those distracting elements from your photos. So here we are in Photoshop, and you can see what I mean about the badges. Let's hit Command Plus to zoom in and take a closer look. And removing this is actually pretty easy. We're just going to grab the lasso tool, and we're going to make rough selections around each one. And once we have, we're just going to hit the Delete key to prompt the Fill dialog. We want to make sure this is set to Content Aware. And we're not going to worry about how perfect the results are on the first pass. We're just going to fill these areas in really quickly by hitting Delete and OK. I'm going to work my way right across the image. Delete and OK. Last one over here. Select. Delete and OK. Now we're going to hit Command Plus again and zoom in just a little bit closer and we're going to choose the Spot Healing Brush. And we want to make sure that that's set to Content Aware and that we've got a medium sized brush. Tom's jacket looks OK there. Let's hit the space bar to just move that over and we can clean Kevin's jacket up a little. If we wanted to repair his lapel, I could just select the area I want, Option click, and then clone that right down the line and repair it. I'll switch back to the Spot Healing Brush, move over, clean my jacket up a little bit, and Jordan's looking pretty good. I'm going to zoom out, and it looks pretty good, but the problem is Tom is standing in nice warm light, and we're standing in the shadows. So let's look at how we'd repair that. I'm going to grab my eyedropper tool and select Tom's forehead, get that nice warm color. Then I'm going to grab my brush, and I'm going to change my mode to Color Dodge. This is going to brighten the image, but it's also going to warm it up with that other color. Now key here is dropping our opacity way down. Let's go to like 15%. And I'll use my face as an example. I'm just going to click on that, and we'll see that as I click on my face and paint, it's both brightening and warming the image. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to Jordan. We'll do two passes to brighten his face up, and the same thing for Kevin. Okay, so now if I go to revert, we'll see here's how the image started off. Lots of badges and faces in the shadows. If I hit Command Z, our faces are brighter and warmer. So you see that it's actually very quick and easy to remove badges or logos and even to warm up and illuminate people's faces.